Okay, we're on number four now, and it gets, I see the zero, but I do not have a product. So the first thing I want to do is I want to factor the problem. So let me, let me go through that. I'm looking at it. Um, I'm going to say three is definitely common to all three terms, right? The other thing that's all common to three terms is the factor of y. And what are you left off with? Well, you left off with y squared plus, let's think about that, and you're going to get 18 y. 3 times 18 is 30, and 24, which is 54. And 3 times what would give you 135? Well, that's 45, and you get a y already. That's equal to 0. What do you do now? You continue to factor 3y. I'm going to say y and y. Not much choice on that. And for the 45, looking at it, you know, product of 45, but a sum of 18, I'm going to say 3 and 15. Of course, you should check that, but the bottom line is what I'm going to do now, set the factors equal to zero. So 3y is equal to zero. Uh, I'm going to use a comma now and just simply say y plus 3 is equal to zero. Another comma, y plus 15 is equal to zero. Let's solve them individually. First one is y is zero. The second one is going to be y equals minus 3. And the third one, y equals minus 15. Put a box on that. I'm going to commit to that. And I'm going to get my red pen out and see if we match the answers. Minus 15, I see that there. Minus 3, I see that there. Y is 0. There's three solutions to that problem. Thank you.